Hey guys, welcome to another video at Code Hiroku. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through five biggest mistakes that you should avoid when you are getting started in the world of machine learning and data science. So let's dive in. So over a year ago, we launched a free project-based machine learning course on our website. And since then, hundreds of students have completed our online course. Some of these students did really well and while others struggled a lot. After talking to a lot of these students who were struggling, I saw a repeating pattern that was emerging and mistakes these folks were making. So I decided to make this video so that you don't fall into the same trap and have a much better shot at excelling at machine learning than these people. Guys, this is Mihir Tucker from Code Hiroku and in this video, we are going to go over top 5 mistakes that you should avoid when starting in the world of machine learning and data science. Number 1. Trying machine learning without even learning programming first. So if you look at most of the comments on our YouTube channel, they are not on any math concept or even a machine learning concept. They are mostly around errors that people face while they are trying to execute a piece of code which they bluntly copied or they are trying to execute without even understanding it first. And perhaps one of the reasons could be that in past few years machine learning and AI have grown tremendously in popularity. And it looks like a great career option and especially for those who are coming from outside of this field. But guys this is not going to take you anywhere. You need to become a really a good programmer before you become a machine learning engineer or a data scientist. And another reason that a lot of people are falling into this trap is that there are a lot of online learning websites that claim that they'll teach you machine learning without any prior programming experience. So guys, you need to understand that these people are just interested in making a quick buck out of your desperation and will say anything to lure you in. But don't fall prey to such online courses. If you'd like to get a free copy of a learning path that I suggest for you to master in machine learning, stick till the end and I'll provide a link to a PDF at the end of this video. On number two, we have studying too much of theory without working on any projects. Often people think that to get started in the world of ML or data science, you need an in-depth understanding of statistics and a lot of math concepts. Well, I don't believe that's completely true. Unless you are trying to get a PhD, most concepts in machine learning can be easily understood with just a bit of background in high school math. So rather than spending 2-3 months doing math concepts and then getting into machine learning, I would suggest that you pick a topic, see what are the related math concepts and revise them on the go. So for example, if you are doing gradient descent algorithm, it makes much more sense to revise derivatives and know how you would do partial derivatives while you are deriving some equations in gradient descent. On number three, we have not spending enough time on a single project. So guys, if you want to walk away from this video with one single biggest advice, it would be this. I want you to take an unsolved problem and work consistently on it for a duration of more than six months. And I guarantee you that this will take your machine learning career to the next level. What do I mean by unsolved problem? Well, in my opinion, an unsolved problem is the one where the existing state of the art algorithm do not outperform the humans. For example, until a few years ago, object recognition was an unsolved problem. But today we have deep learning methods which outperform even human capabilities. But unfortunately, when I look at the resumes of most entry level machine learning engineers, you would see more or less the same sort of projects. May it be character recognition or someone has done something with e-commerce recommendation system. So rather than falling into the same class of people, I want you to work on interesting projects which are very different than what's already out there. So my advice to you is take a challenging problem which is hard to solve and work consistently on it for at least six months. And then you will see your career shining to the next level. On number four, we have not completing a project end to end. And now this ties back to the previous one, but there are some people who do only parts of the machine learning project. They don't do the entire machine learning pipeline end to end, right from training to being able to deploy it on a cloud server. 
Often I see students who take a pre-trained model and they don't really know how to train a model from scratch. Or even if they are training a model by themselves, they don't really know how to deploy this on a cloud or make an API out of it. I suggest that you try to build a portfolio of projects for yourself which you can demo in an interview. After all, working software speaks louder than anything else, right? On number 5 we have learning only by yourself. And this probably is another very common mistake that I see lot of students make. Trying to learn in a silo without really understanding the end user is very dangerous for a machine learning engineer. For example, let's say if you're trying to build a plant disease prediction model, but you never really spoke to any expert in this field. So how do you know that what you are building is actually solving the problem that you intended to solve in the first place? And as machine learning engineers, just like our algorithms, we are very tend to bias ourselves as well. So I recommend that you look out for some experts in the domain that you're trying to solve a particular problem. And there are a lot of ways to connect with domain experts today. Try to look for an internship or maybe participate in a Kaggle competition. There are several approaches. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts? Did you think that I missed out on anything? Please mention it to me on the comments. Additionally, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet and want to stay updated with all that is happening in the world of machine learning and AI, click the subscribe button or the notification bell right now. I'll see you next time with another interesting video. Till then, goodbye.